We're at Byron Bay International Film Festival and I'm joined by Louis Jaisek, the director of Out There, the Youth of Jamaica. So we're just going to find a little bit more about the film and what made you want to make a documentary. Um, so why don't you tell us a little bit about the story? Um, so if, you, if you're talking about Jamaica, um, a lot of people already have some kind of picture, some kind of impression in their, in their head. Um, and you know, it's like this small Caribbean island, Rasta island, um, reggae music and white beaches, but the reality is that there's a lot more to the island. Um, and we try to, to portray um, a, new, a new generation of the island, like the young generation um, growing up on the island and really trying to, to get out of um, like the old and set structures of society and culture. Yeah. And like to, um, can I say, to add to a new understanding of the island. Yeah. And you followed three main characters in it, didn't you, who are real people, real lives. Yeah. Who are they and how did you go about finding them? Um, it was a pretty natural process because like this, this new generation in Jamaica already kind of picked their protagonists, so we just followed them. And it was Eli Shama Beckford, he's uh, the first professional surfer of the island. And um, the second one was Baker Stees, he's, he's a rapper on an island ruled by reggae music. And uh, yeah, one of the few only rappers on the island and uh, just starting a worldwide career and adding to, to a new sound of Jamaica. Um, and the third one is, is Roma, he lives in Tivoli Garden, which is like the, the mother of all ghettos in Jamaica. It's a really rough place and he pulls us deep into like his his community and the stories of his community and gives us the the understanding that we need um, or like the, the the background what it takes for a young Jamaican to really like make the first step um, out of a situation that you're born into. Yeah. Awesome. I'm really I'm so excited to see it on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> and Jamaica, like you just mentioned, reggae music, the rapper. What was it like doing justice to the island and yeah. the music for the soundtrack? Yeah, I mean, Jamaica is very rich in music, um, which didn't make it easier for us because there was like a big uh, responsibility to the yes. island. Um, and also there are like so many different directions. You have reggae, you have roots, uh, dancehall, dub. Um, and we choose two of them, which is uh, we wanted to give you the we want to give the viewer like the the real Jamaican background of uh, dub music, and then in contrast to that the the new sound of the island, uh, Baker Stee sounds, and alongside of like other uh, really big artists like Popcorn or Coffee. Yeah. yeah, awesome. And this is your first time in Byron, I believe. Yeah. Why have you chosen Byron Bay? Like your international premiere is pretty big deal. Um, yeah, I mean, our like we want the story to like get heard all over the world, you know, yeah. because this is like um, not only a story in Jamaica, it's like a story of us all, it's like about growing up and no matter where you're from, if you're from Australia or Germany or Jamaica, you're dealing with similar questions while growing up and um, these, this generation in Jamaica really inspired me and I hope it yeah, inspires yes, Australia. And are we going to be seeing you next year? What's next in the lineup for you? Um, well, <laughs> I don't know yet. You're like, the, I'm just going to deal with my yeah. premiere first and then I can go on to yeah. the next thing. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, this is like a movie about the beginning, you know, it's like the first step of a generation. Yeah. And we're not done yet, so we're just going to see where this journey is going to take us next. Um, next, we're going to, to actually to Jamaica to have like the world premiere in, in Jamaica, mm. um, the public world premiere, and then um, to Santa Barbara um, International Film Festival for the US premiere. And, I don't know what what comes after that. Awesome. So, yeah. Well, thank you so much. No problem. Thank you for having me. Thanks for listening. And you're uh, premiering on Monday, aren't you? I'm showing. Yeah. Yeah. Monday. What time are you premiering? Tell tell us when you're going to be screening uh, your film. Monday evening at Byron Bay Community Centre at 7:30. Awesome. Thanks, Louis. <laughs> thank you. And thanks for listening on filmfestivals.com.